Good day, I'm Lorraine Mendez and this is your JIS News for Tuesday, March 12. $600 million is earmarked to increase pension payments to retired government employees in the upcoming financial year. This is in addition to another $600 million approved by Cabinet recently to increase pensions for this group in the current financial year, which ends on March 31. Finance and Public Service Minister Dr. Nigel Clark made the announcement as he opened the budget debate last week. Earlier this year, it was announced that the 120,000 NIS pensioners would benefit from a 14% increase in pensions. And MLA, the ministry is working on expanding the enrollment in the NIS program. In other budget news, the Ministry of Finance is developing a public financial management policy for natural disaster risk. It will include a contingent credit and accumulating fiscal savings in the contingency fund, which is only to be used in the event of natural disasters. Other layers of protection include the Caribbean Catastrophe Insurance Facility and Catastrophe Bonds or Catastrophe Linked Insurance. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark says the policy will be submitted to Cabinet and, if approved, tabled in Parliament. He says the strategy will provide the country with layers of protection in the event of a disaster and protect the financial gains made under the economic reform program. Jamaica, Mr. Speaker, has done too much work and made too many sacrifices to leave ourselves completely open and exposed in a post-IMF program environment to the potential fiscal impact of natural disaster. Dr. Clark was opening the budget debate on Thursday. Chief Justice Brian Sykes says by December 31 of this year, there will be no outstanding divorce cases in our island's courts. This is part of his commitment to cut the waiting time for adjudicating matters before the court. In line with that, Justice Sykes says cases relating to the validity of wills and the estate of persons who died without a will should take no longer than 12 weeks in the Supreme Court. My vision is for our judiciary to be the best in the Caribbean region in three years and among the best in the world in six years, beginning March 1, 2019. To support this vision, I give my commitment to put in place measures so that by December 31, 2019, all outstanding judgments in the Supreme Court will be delivered. As of 2020, a judgment should be delivered within 90 days and in exceptional cases, 180 days following completion of the case. The Chief Justice was speaking recently during an address to the nation. He says the Court of Appeal will also increase its disposal rate as three additional judges were appointed in January and three more are to be added later this year. The Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, will be making $68 million available to implement water harvesting and sanitation projects in several rural area schools. The money is to continue work under JICA's Grant Assistance for Grassroots Human Security Project during the financial year that begins on April 1. Among other things, it will allow for the completion of infrastructure work at Black River High and Fair Prospect Primary. In addition, water harvesting and sanitation systems are being installed at Iris Gelly Primary. School buses will be bought for license and New Forest Primary. The project, which started in September 2017, was scheduled to end in March 2019, but has been extended to March 2020. The Ministry of Labour and Social Security is delivering improved services to residents of Hanover through its new office. The building was officially opened by Portfolio Minister Shahini Robinson recently. It represents a recognition of the importance of providing adequate accommodations conducive to the well-being of our employees. A commitment to meet the increasing demand and expectations of the client public and of course to utilize our physical and human resources in enhancing our productive capacity. Minister Robinson says this is part of a broader mission to upgrade the ministry's offices across the island. The tenders for the Montego, the refurbishing of the St. James office is out, so too is the one for the one on Ripon Road in Kingston. And we continue to upgrade, try and upgrade our offices as best as we can. The St. Anne Parish office is expected to be completed by June and occupied by year end. And finally, a cocoa festival will be added to the list of Jamaica's gastronomic experiences to increase tourism earnings. The cocoa festival will be held later this year by the Tourism Ministry in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture and other government agencies. 
Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says the rich history of the country's cocoa can be a pull for visitors while deepening the linkages between the productive sectors and stopover spend. Jamaican cocoa was the feedstock for Cadbury chocolates and very few people know that and today Cadbury is one of the most celebrated brands in the world. Minister Bartlett was speaking with JIS News at the recent Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee Festival. And that's it for JIS News today. I'm Lorraine Mendez. Thanks for watching.